Hello beautiful people. So we are starting off by lighting our candle. This is a Christmas candle, but I simply turned it around. This is from Ray Dunn and I did get it from Home Goods. And we still are using our other Christmas candles. And this is so pretty. Actually, this was in the cabinet. And so now we are just going to do a mini get ready with me. We're putting on our Lily lashes, doing a little bit of eyebrows. And then we're going to put on a little bit of lip liner. Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. So today's video, we are going to be decorating for Valentine's Day. We're going to make some ice sculptures and we have four brand new perfumes from Dossier. So our first scent is Woody Rum. First of all, I just love this cap. You can put this in your purse and it definitely will not spill or accidentally spray. And it comes in a 100% recyclable box. And this retails, you guys, for $240. This is $39 from Dossier. And this is inspired by Killian Straight to Heaven Eau de Parfum. And each one comes with a card. And it tells you the top notes and who it is inspired by. The top notes are rum, dry fruits, and nutmeg. The middle, jasmine, cedarwood, and vanilla. And the base notes are patchouli, amber, and the sandalwood. So let's go ahead and try this. First of all, oh, it smells so woodsy. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. Mm. Next up, we have Woody Chestnut. So this is inspired by Maison Marguerite. It's replica by the fireplace. So this opens with a hint of pink pepper and cloves. Quickly, this spicy sparkle is relayed by an armful of woody notes. Warm, comfortable, evocative, woody chestnut reflects a wonderfully expressive way of a gourmet moment by a fire at dusk. Let's go ahead and smell this. Smells so good. The notes that I can smell right away is the cloves, kind of pink pumper, and the orange blossom. Oh, this smells so good, you guys. Mmm. Mmm. Definitely woodsy. Next up, we have Woody Raspberry, and this is inspired by Paco Rabanne Lady Million Eau de Parfum. And you know, you can buy, oh, this smells so good, you guys. And these are 100% risk-free. If you find that you don't like it, you can return it within 30 days. And they have partnered with Give Back Box, which is a charity, and everything is ethically donated. And of course, you're welcome to use my link right below this video. Oh, this smells so good. Okay, the top notes are raspberry, neroli, and lemon. And the middle is jasmine, orange, blossom, and gardenia. And the base is patchouli, amber, and honey. Okay, go ahead and smell this. Oh my gosh, you guys. This one is my favorite so far. Our very last perfume is Woody Hyacinth, and this is inspired by Chanel Chance Eau de Parfum. So this retails for $105, and from Dossier, it is only $29. Revamps one of the most exclusive perfume writing structures, the Sharpay. A blend of bergamot, rose, oak moss, and patchouli, our take on the Sharpay plays with new airy, shimmering, raw materials instead of the traditional ones. This is sophisticated, qualitative, and high-end. And you know, I am a Chanel girl. Oh, this smells just like it. I actually just ran out of my Chance perfume by Chanel, so we're gonna go ahead and try this out. So the top notes are hyacinth, lemon, and pineapple. The middle, jasmine, pink pepper, and patchouli. The base notes are vanilla, vetiver, and oris. 
You know, I learned so much about perfume from Dossier. Oh my gosh. So I think this is kind of my favorite. <laughs> Dossier was founded out of a desire to make premium fragrances accessible to everyone. Again, you are welcome to use my discount link below. And now we're going to make some ice sculptures and we're going to decorate for Valentine's Day. Now we're going to make some ice sculptures. You can use any kind of pan that you have. A bump pan would actually work out really well. So what I have, I have this heart-shaped bowl. And what I did is I took some twine, and I like to use twine because as it starts to melt, then the birds can use it for their nests. And so what I did is I taped it in the bottom of the bowl. And I'm just going to start with by putting just a little bit of water in the bottom. So yeah, just a little bit of water, and I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the freezer. And I do have these flamingo molds, and I have hearts, and these are actually very tiny. And then I actually have one for Halloween, and it doesn't necessarily mean that you need hearts or whatnot. Um, thank you, Barbie. <laughs> but you can just use anything that you have. For stability, I'm going to go ahead and put this on a plate and then we're going to fill them up. And then we're going to place them in the freezer. And I didn't put strings in each one, just some of them. I'm going to head outside and hang these up. And I did use a mold for a Christmas tree and I thought that would be really cute. And uh, yeah, we still have a lot of snow outside. So these come out very easily and we just hang them up. melted but guess what we are in for snow showers later tonight
And I went to Home Goods a few weeks ago and I did pick up some items for Valentine's Day, just very few, so we'll just go over what I bought. So this is just for the kids. This is so cute. This is just for either like, you know, drinks or like little treats. I just thought that was so cute and it is Ray done and this was like only $3.99. Then I did pick this up at Walmart. This is like a dollar. This is a pumice stone for your feet. I thought that was really cute. And the fact that it's on a stick, I think it's going to be a little bit easier to use. And I did pick these up from Home Goods as well. You guys, these are like a bottle stopper. So, so cute. I love high heels. I went ahead and bought a second one. I bought these actually at different times. And I went ahead and picked up this one a while ago. This is, reminds me of Chris Christian Louboutin. And this was like 20 bucks though. I mean, it was so, so worth it. It was so, so cute. And this is actually a wine bottle holder and the stopper set. And I initially had picked up a white mug. It was actually almost the same thing. It said it had a little bit different. Um, and I finally found it in the red. And this was like $12.99. And so just a hint, what you guys can do um, for when you're going out and you're buying things. And then I actually picked this up at Home Goods too. I initially had bought like a white one, but I did bring it back and I wanted to get a red one. This was $12.99. This is Ray Dunn thought this was just so cute and just a quick tip when you are out buying items especially like for Christmas if you buy red you can incorporate that into your Valentine's Day decor and that's exactly what we did so I picked this up at Hobby Lobby and this was like 70% off it almost looks like Ray Dunn kind of and I thought that was really cute so we're gonna definitely use this on our kitchen here and then I did pick these up at Walmart there's actually three of them these are only like 328 I bought very few items this time around for Valentine's Day now this one oh my gosh you guys look first of all if you wear lipstick make sure you wear it with a red um, a dark red and it has blue in it So I actually picked this up at Walmart. There's actually three of them and I'm gonna show you what I did. It was only like $3.28. I did buy very few items this year for Valentine's Day and I did pick this up at Hobby Lobby. Now this is Milk for Santa. Now just a tip, if you guys do wear red lipstick, make sure it's tinted with blue. As you can see, this will make your teeth look nice and white. You can see that. <laughs> so what I did, so, and it's a little chip right here and that's okay. So I turned it around and actually used one of the hearts and I just think that is so cute. And I mean, who cares? I think it's really adorable. Even if you didn't put anything on it, I mean, who cares? So yeah. This right here is a DIY. These are actually from the Dollar Tree and I made these, oh my gosh, probably over five years ago. And they actually come with like a little, kind of like a lollipop pacifier, if you will. And then what I did is I just bore a hole in here and just put a keychain through there and just kind of like, and then this is just like some lip gloss. And this is a lip lamp that you guys have had forever. And this is actually from Hallmark, you guys. I've had this uh, since I was a teenager. So if you do have any of these, do not remove the tag. And then this is what we have right here. I think it came out really cute, not a lot. Try to do very minimal this year. And uh, yeah, I think it came out so cute. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I will see you guys really, really soon. Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. Mwah. XO.